Welcome to bestautodetailingtips.com. My name is Darren Priest and today's lesson, black trim restoration. How do we do it? What is it? What do I use as a professional? Why do I use what I use? I'm gonna help you. Basically, we're gonna go further down that rabbit hole of understanding so you understand not only the how to do it, but more importantly, why do you pick this product over that product, Darren? How about if you answer that for us? Well, in order to answer that question, you need some foundational understanding, and that's where I have brought in the whiteboard today. So let's go in and let's get started. Okay, if you're looking for the simple headline Reader's Digest version, version answer, it's like, okay, Darren, just tell us what you use. Okay, well, guess what? I use both, okay? I believe, and if you follow along with the video, you will learn more and more. I believe the Solution Finish is a true trim restoration product. I believe the Black Wow is more of a concealer, enhancer, uh, superficial type of product. I use them both. I use this to restore it and bring it back to like new condition. And then I use this if I have a customer that wants a more glossy, shinier type of look. This is greasier. This is not greasy. This is shinier. This is less shiny, as in stock look, as in original equipment look. So there's my short answer. And if you go and click on the show more link at the at just below this video, it will populate or open up a window and there will be a link to a more comprehensive description on my website. Okay, but if you're here to learn more for greater understanding, which I hope you are. Okay, I've broken all the endless type of products into three categories. Coatings, conditioners and protectants, and restores. Okay, so when you think of coatings, it literally is a coating. Now this would be the category of like the infomercials where the guy takes a product and he just wipes it across the product and literally think of it like latex paint. I'm not a big fan of those because yes, they will have very dramatic results in the moment, but it will be very temporary and the reality is, is going down the road, it will actually create a bigger problem for you. So coatings, a true coating as in a paint light coating. I would run away from. Then we have conditioners and protectants. This would be like the Armorals of the world or sorry Richard Lynn, like a black wow. Okay, and I'm gonna explain further why these are under this category and not that category. Okay, so when you think of conditioners and protectants, and this list would literally be like uh, a mile deep. Okay, it's just endless. And that's where most of them would reside, and that's because they're what's called silicone-based products. Um, then we have Restore. Now, Restore is where I put Solution Finish, and it says on the packaging itself, silicone-free, okay? So that brings us to the next part of the equation. So we have silicone based products, we have silicone free based products. Now I have not, of course no one could ever have the answer to everything. Solution Finish is the only product that I am aware of that is truly a hundred percent silicone free. And, be, and because these are what I consider two of the biggest players in the industry, I'm just going to reduce it down to these two products. Yes, as I said, I use both of them, but they both have their limitations. And that's the difficult part, or often the overlooked part of any discussion, is understanding the limitations of any product. So you have benefits, and you have, uh, it's like the pros and cons. Okay, what are the pros, what are the cons? Most manufacturers because people have agendas, we'll talk about all the benefits, all the pros. Why use my product? Because it does this, that, this, whatever. But they, they never talk about the limitations. It's like, okay, this product's good, but it's limited in this way. 
So it doesn't make the product suddenly bad just because it has limitations. Rarely will a, a manufacturer of a product talk about their limitations. And as a detailer, you need to understand limitations so that you can be more effective and more safe and effective when choosing your products and using your products. So therefore, a true trim restore, it will restore, like in the case of Solution Finish, it will restore to like new finish. But will it create an, uh, a, a hyper glossy, shiny finish? No, it won't. So if that's what you're looking for, then that would be a limitation of solution finish. But let's say all you want is a superficial coating, something that looks good momentarily or superficially or something that's not gonna last, well then that's where maybe you would go with a black wow. That's a more of a coating. Yes, it can penetrate to a degree, but this is a silicone based product. So silicone, this is the deal with silicone is that at a molecular level, it is bigger than the pores of plastic. Real plastic, 100% plastic, like you would find in the uh, uh, gun industry or the aerospace industry, does not oxidize, okay? And the oxidative process is a process of the impurities in plastic the additives and impurities that are rising to the surface and they create that gray chalky appearance. Okay, that's what's happening because plastics that they use on cars and basically everywhere in the world, like my vacuum cleaners that I'm gonna show you, is made because it's a cheaper process and it's, way, it's how you mass produce things. But the problem is, is it oxidizes and therefore how do we restore it? Well, silicone-based products, the molecule is too big to pass through and truly restore the pores. So what happens is that as the plastic oxidizes, it creates what's called um, hydroperoxide gas. And that's basically the uh, uh, impurities and additives that are part of your black trim on your car through the oxidation process, those rise to the surface and create that gray, chalky type of appearance and degrade the material. As those impurities rise, it creates additional pores. So a silicone, the molecule is too big to actually permeate into those pores. Solution finish, because it's silicone free, it's actually been milled seven times. It's actually smaller than, the, uh, than an actual virus at a molecular level. So therefore it can pass. Now uh, a good comparison would be if you're familiar with the fabric Gore-Tex. Okay, Gore-Tex is a weatherproof, waterproof type of fabric. How does that work? Well, what they have found is that if you take a water molecule that's let's say this size, it cannot pass through a fabric that is this tightly uh, woven and it's not just normal fabric it truly is a high-tech uh, synthetic type of fabric that is waterproof but they make it breathable and what that means is that the water molecule is too big to pass through that fabric but the vapor that your body secretes in the form of perspiration that molecule is smaller. So therefore, that molecule is able to pass through the fabric while keeping the larger water molecules out. So therefore, you stay dry, but the perspiration that you secrete as a, as a human is able to pass through and breathe. So it's really about chemistry at a large part uh, and logistics. Anyhow, so the same idea and concept is at play here as to a true black trim restorer or what I consider a conditioner protectant, a superficial temporary product that resides mostly at the surface. So that's the difference, silicone, silicone free. Okay, that is lesson number one. I'm going to break this video down into different parts. 
So in lesson number two, and I will make a link here so you can go right to it, and it will be part of a chain of other videos, so it should automatically populate for you. But if you want to learn more, then watch lessons two, three, and four, or however many this series ends up being.